Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel. So in this video, I just want to give an update on the effortless pants from my previous video because I asked you guys for help on whether or not I should keep them. And I did mention that I ordered the regular crepe fabric version of the effortless pants in the color basalt gray. So these just arrived and I wanted to show you guys what these look like today and also comparing it to the vegan leather pants. So this is what they look like. Um, I got this in the short version. So the short version of the crepe fabric is exactly the same inseam as the vegan leather version, the regular length vegan leather. And this is also in the size 2 and the color is called basalt gray. So it's like a nice light gray color with a tinge of green. It's actually a lot more green than I had thought it would be because looking on the website, basalt gray looks so different on many of the different styles like looking at the carrot pants for example that was such like a ashy almost purpley color but um i would say this basalt gray is pretty accurate on what it looks like on the website because yeah it's pretty green so this was sold out online but i talked to concierge and they ended up sh uh, shipping this to me from the sherry garden store and they still have that in stock however i don't have the best experience shopping at sherry gardens because last time i went there i did film a shopping vlog i noticed there were so many damaged items um and that store is just so crowded i think it it's actually like the biggest Aritzia in Canada or in Ontario, something like that. It was a really big Aritzia and there's always so many people so something's bound to be damaged. So I had the expectation that there's a pretty high chance that this item would come damaged. And I was right because my pants came with a pen mark so I wouldn't be keeping these just because I don't want to like a damaged item when I paid so much for it. This was full price so I paid 148 plus tax. Hopefully I can get them exchanged and shipped from another store. So this is what these pants look like. I really, really like this fit. So much better than the um, vegan leather version. It does give a completely different look though because this looks more formal. It's like a dress pant, whereas the vegan leather one is bulky, but it kind of gives like a more edgy streetwear vibe. Um, these ones, I do find this is slightly shorter in my opinion. Like you can see, these don't go all the way to the ground. They don't touch the floor. They kind of just hit me right, right below my ankle, which is a good thing, I guess, because then it won't touch the ground. Um, but yeah, I did get these in a size 2. I do have another pair of effortless pants in a size 4, and that inseam is slightly longer. So I think that one's just like an inch longer, and it goes pretty close to the ground. But I do prefer this inseam more on the size 2. The waist does fit pretty snug. My size 4 effortless pants, the waist is a little loose, so it just hangs a little bit lower. That's probably why it actually touches the floor then. But these sit pretty high up. I actually like the way that this one fits more because I like it when it's more like high-waisted. But I feel like this one's still a little bit too small. I feel like the size 4 is a little bit more comfortable because when I'm standing, I feel like it fits well and it looks like it fits well. But when I'm sitting down and I feel like if I sit down for a long time or eat food or something, then I would feel like my stomach is too constricted and for reference I am 5'3 and about 115 pounds uh, my waist is about 27 inches and this is the size 2 I feel like it'd be hard to match with other colors but this color is really beautiful a nice neutral ashy tone I would still consider this like a neutral color even though it's slightly tinted green but it's just like a nice ashy color I really like how these shoes look with effortless pants these are New Balance 350s that I mentioned in my previous video they just look very effortless <laughs> so this is what the size 4 looks like in comparison you can see the waist area is a lot looser so it does like droop down a little bit more but I do think the inseam is slightly longer though it's like an inch longer plus it droops down a little bit more so 
it almost touches the ground but not quite when I'm wearing shoes. I definitely like the fit more on the size 2. It looks better but the size 4 is more comfortable especially when I'm sitting or when I'm like eat out eating. But yeah, this is what the size 4 looks like. I'm kind of conflicted on whether or not I want to exchange the basalt gray pair for another size 2 or if I should do a size 4 because the size 4 is more comfortable. But I like the way the size 2 looks. I just don't know if I'll wear it that much if it's not as comfortable, if you know what I mean. I really wish there was a size in between the size 2 and size 4. I feel like the size 4 looks more like how it fits on the model because on the model it doesn't even look that high-waisted. They seem to all kind of like droop downwards. And then lastly, this is the vegan leather version that was in question from my last video. In case you missed that video, these are the pants. Man, trying these on again makes me feel like they actually fit kind of well. I just don't like how bulky it looks. This is in the size 2 and this size 2 actually fits a lot more comfortable than the crepe fabric because the vegan leather material is slightly stretchy whereas the crepe fabric has absolutely no stretch. So when I sit down in this, it doesn't feel as um, restricted in my stomach area. I feel like I'm second guessing myself on whether or not I want to keep these pants. But I do still like the crepe fabric a lot more. This does give like a completely different look. I feel like this is more like street style only. I d definitely wouldn't be able to wear this to the office whereas the regular crepe fabric is more like regular dress pants. So I would definitely be able to get more wear out of that. This color is so beautiful. This is gold camel. And unfortunately, Gold Camel is sold out. But yeah, the consensus is you guys told me to return these. So I think I am leaning towards returning these and then um, keeping the basalt gray. Well, not that pair of basalt gray because it's damaged, but I'm probably going to exchange them either for a size 2 or a size 4 in the basalt gray color. So I just want to show you the difference between the waist on the size 4 effortless pants and the size 2 effortless pants. So lining them up, the size 4 just looks like it's got about an inch wider. And actually I just noticed that in the size 4, the waistband kind of is like cut straight whereas on the size 2, it's tapered inwards. So I did get these effortless pants last year. So in last year's model, it goes straight up. And that was actually one of the issues that I noticed that I had was um, when it points straight up, it looks kind of not flattering and it looks like it fits you kind of big because at the top, there's just like a bigger gap. Whereas on the new version, these taper inwards and this is a lot more flattering. That's probably why I like the fit of the size 2 more but looking at this I feel like I might go exchange this for a size 4 and hope that it does taper in the same way because the size 2 just fits a little too snug. And this is the vegan leather version of the size 2 so it's exactly the same as the regular crepe version. It also slightly tapers inwards. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. Let me know your thoughts on these effortless pants. Let me know what you think of the basalt gray color because I feel like this color is a little bit hard to style. Um, I think it goes really well with like black or white obviously because they're neutral colors but it looks like it's a little bit harder to style with other colors just because it's so unique. It's like a greenish gray but most of my closet is neutrals anyway so I think this color will work for me. But let me know your opinion on what other colors you think will work well with these basalt gray effortless pants yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video